Here is my favorite pair of binoculars. It's made by Karina. You can barely read it there. And now it's upside down, but that's what it is. And it's a 9 times 63 It's got a 9 time magnification and uh, it's got a 63 millimeter lens at the front here. It's got a problem. I don't like this. It's got a problem here. It's wobbly. These eyepieces are way too wobbly. It needs a fix. So I figure that these ones are kind of bolted on either from here or from here and uh, somehow something has to tighten. So I started taking it apart and this is what I discovered. Any pair of binoculars are assembled with uh, threads, you know, because you can see how stuff is threaded here and also the eyepieces, but don't bother the eyepieces there. It has to be taken apart here. Okay, so this is what I discovered. This cap here is glued in place. It's just a trim item. Go with a putty knife like this that I restored in a previous video. Or a screwdriver is too thick of a wedge, okay? This is too thick and it's gonna, if you force it in there, it's gonna break the cap, the edge of the cap off. So what you need to do, let's get closer. Mm, there about. So what you need to do is put the edge of it somewhere deep in there of this putty knife and just pry this one up. I obviously took it off so it comes up with a little bit of uh, sound and you can see it's glued, you can see the glue residue on it. Okay, so that's one. What you see and find underneath is that bolt in the middle. It's kind of a... yeah it's a bolt, okay. And it's got a thread on the inside of it don't worry about it. It needs to be tightened. This is the bolt that needs to be tightened. Now this screwdriver is too small. How do I do this? There. It's too small. It, uh, it's not long enough and it's wobbly in the groove. You need something like this to make it work but this one is a little too wide but eventually you'll find a place where it fits a lot better okay so you need something that actually fits this bolt head now that it's loosened up I can just take it out really easily it's held in place by a thread lock okay so there's glue on the thread I cleaned it up this is a six millimeter by one metric thread so that's how it looks when it's cleaned up of grass, grease, and dried glue. So there's that part. And then the eyepieces come off yay so. Might as well clean it because an odd piece of grass always makes it in. So that's how the lens looks like. Sorry, the eyepiece, the lens in the eyepiece. And then this one also comes out just for curiosity. I just take it out and uh, show you. Almost there. This is a fine pitch thread, that's why it needs to be going around quite a bit. So that's what this center uh, piece is. You can see the fine threads on it there. And uh, there's a notch on this ring. That notch has to be engaging this index pin on the left eyepiece. Okay, so don't break that off because otherwise this threaded component it is not gonna work. It's not gonna elevate and lower the eyepieces together. So now that this one is out, I uh, just put it here where it stays kind of dry, but. So that's what's inside. There you can see the lens on it, the prisms and there somewhat. Okay, and in the middle it's threaded. Let's see. Yeah, you can see some of the thread. It's not threaded all the way, but it's threaded about. It's at least I can see at least an inch of thread going in there. There's also one more problem with this binocular. You see this joint here? 
it's now it's closed and nice and even there let me just hold it this way there now it spreads it's tight up top and now it's got a V gap look at this I close the gap open close the gap open the gap close it open it without rotating the two barrels okay so now the gap is open at the bottom tight at the top tight at the bottom tight at the top okay so it's got this wobble to it to tighten to tighten this type of wobble it would need screws going this way or bolts there is no such bolt going through this if anything it's got this bolt going this way so by so by tightening anything running this direction is not gonna help the wobble this way okay so whether it's normal wear and tear or just substandard East German uh, engineering I don't know one more thing that moves and comes apart on it is this one here there you can see another thread coming out from this one and if you keep rotating it then the bolt at the end or screw at the end in which the screwdriver is now anyway okay there that also comes out like so so that's a different thread pitch now again all right so that's that's everything that can be reasonably taken apart on this I'm just gonna tighten this bolt just about that much and then just place it somewhere there so now I have to put everything back together and of course I'm gonna need a thread lock for that final bolt on it the source of the original grief Yeah, make sure you put it in all the way and then this left eyepiece with that index pin goes in to the left side and has to engage with the groove on that ring just a sec it's getting there good now it's in you can see the pin that you can see it there is now going into that groove there's the groove and just rotate it there and there we go now the other side goes back on about yay so and then this one eventually needs a thread lock or, or I might replace it with a longer one because it's so short and just looking ridiculous so I have in here because I also needed to uh, clean the thread there with a tap I have 10 millimeters of thread so I'm not understanding that four millimeter long little Mickey Mouse bolt so anyhow that's what I have now and I'll just put it back and show you that if you tighten this one Maybe tighten it better. So this one moves this way. The original problem. And if you tighten it just just enough there. Now it's not wobbly. What is wobbly is it's not wobbly at the eye pieces. Where it does wobble is here, this piece is moving in this thread further down here see but now the whole thing moves together as opposed to the two eyepieces moving separately I'll just tighten it here so however when you do this that's gonna loosen this bolt and we'll be back to the original problem with that thread lock on this so that's how it goes together and uh, you can clean the grass from inside the uh, prism and everything that's inside so that's that a good thing you're here because two seconds later the top of the screw here or bolt just snapped off so I am gonna replace it with something that holds part of the problem is that this bolt or screw was cast you can see the casting line 
thereabouts, running across the threads in this direction. Let's see how do we do this. Mm -hmm. There's the vertical casting line on one side of the threads, and here is the other casting line on the other side of the screw. Okay, this is a cheap piece of garbage. I'm gonna replace it with something that also broke a windshield assembly from a scooter but it's got this six millimeter bolt in it and let's see how this one fares all right six millimeter all right there this one works a little better than the previous one and it's got a hex key a normal hex key so this one is a nicer bolt okay so let's put everything together again and then I'm gonna go with a washer underneath this one but there that's how it looks like and there's no use for this cap anymore I guess I uh, really like the good lenses in this uh, binoculars but uh, otherwise it's got issues quality issues of the metal it's made of and the workmanship 